was there um, at a school like Georgetown? I went to Santa Clara University. Uh, GPA was a big deal. If we didn't hit it, if I didn't hit three zero, I wasn't competing. Um, and we, I, I got a, a note from the AD one time. He got mad at me because I got a B in a ballet class. Um, <laughs> and, and goes, I wish oh, we had that. ballet class. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I did that because I wanted to try to learn how to steeple. And the guys told me I wouldn't survive if I couldn't stretch or something. So I decided to take that. But uh, did you, was that one of the things that you had to deal with? And was that a big part of your um, management in dealing with the kids, with, with the athletes, with their challenges in school? Yeah, absolutely. And um, I think that became more and more of a priority for us in the beginning. Um, we just, you know, thought it was an expectation. And then you kind of peel back the layers and realize that, you know, kids come from all over and have all different types of strengths and weaknesses. And um, if somebody was going to be struggling in the classroom, it was it became really important for us to be on the front end of identifying what those classes were that were going to be a challenge to any particular student athlete and and trying to set them up for success right away. So in the beginning, we never had a study hall. Um, Georgetown just kind of has an expectation that you if you're going to be there, you can handle the academics. Um, but we really found creating a structured environment for them was was conducive to learning and or just helping them kind of construct their day a little bit better. Sure. So uh, some of that is like teaching them that like studying at 2 a.m. is not as effective as studying at 7 p.m. Yes. Um, and so kind of identifying individuals that may or may not need like that from the very, very beginning. So we would always start with the freshmen. Um, would have a, a mandatory study hall. And, and we actually had student athletes that opted to stay in the study hall because they just started to learn to love the structure of it. Sure. And just helping them, you know, balance their day and identify like, you know, points in their schedule where they could be maybe not socializing or playing video games, but um, thinking about, you know, what was coming up that week or, or an exam or, or something that they were preparing for. So, um, we definitely started to get really, really involved with that, really hands-on. And um, I think that's actually been really cool because it's it goes above and beyond for a coach. There's plenty of support staff, but when your coach is really I, you know, invested in making sure that you pass this class or that you're, you're not just passing, but that you're successful in that class, um, it means a lot, you know, it's, it's about caring for the whole person. So when they feel cared for in all aspects, not just for their physical talent, um, you know, you, you build a better program. 